hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important use case in model driven app or dataverse called as child workflow most of the times we for reusability point of view we create child workflows and that child workflow can be called from a parent workflow right so let us create uh, a child workflow and call it from parent workflow my business use case is or business requirement is whenever a new transaction is created in the system i want to wait for one minute normally it is not one minute for demo i want to take one minute and uh, after one minute it will send an email to the uh, owner to complete the transaction because initially the transaction status gets uh, updated as initiated and it should be completed or uh, rejected after one minute so let us do a workflow to do that let me go to the solution and create a new automation new process and click on process and workflow first we will create a cost a uh, child workflow so give a name child workflow to send email right so here i can define this is transaction entity so sbi transaction and i want to run this uh, in background because i want to wait for one minute so click on create Now here I want to enable this as a child process flag and define the scope as organization and I don't want to call this record created because I want to call this as a child process and here I want to add a step to send email so click on add step and send email and the send email I want to mention the description send email description and click on set properties here i want to define the from address from i want to send the uh, i want to use the owner of this transaction and to same the owner of the transaction because it will just remind the owner to make the transaction success or failure subject transaction status need attention it here i can define year owner is update the status of the the transaction here i want to define the record url so which will point to the same record url of the uh, transaction entity so i can click on this here we will find the record url and add it here right and regarding which entity you want to associate this activity email activity i want to associate a split transaction and the bank account okay and i want to use the due date it's today or the transaction uh, or the process execution time I don't want to uh, write down any wait condition here in the child workflow. I want to mention the wait condition in the parent workflow. Now activate this. So in the child workflow, I have just mentioned send email activity without any trigger, but age child workflow, age child process enabled. Right. Now I will create another 
workflow automation process workflow and give a name here send reminder update injection so here it is also the same sbi transaction and run workflow in background because i want to wait use wait condition now this time i don't want to use any on-demand process or any child process because this is the parent workflow i want to define the organizational scope and start when when the record is created but now i want to add a step here first i want to add wait condition it will wait for one minute and you have to build the condition the condition is process timeout equal to one minute after SBI transaction created on seven close now it will wait for one minute after the record is created then what I want to do I want to check if the status is still initiated that means it's not updated as rejected or success then I want to call the child workflow so click on this star child workflow and connect the child workflow here this is the child workflow we have created now save and activate now you can test the workflow if it is working fine or not you can go to the SP transaction entity and create a new transaction let me go and select a bank account and here i want to define some amount here i press say credit and then i can update try save it so once the record is saved after some time the parent workflow will call right which will send an email to the owner of the bank account or owner of the transaction who is the owner this is the owner now let me check the workflow status for uh, background workflow status you can check using system jobs in advanced settings you can navigate to the system job And here you can uh, see that this is the parent workflow which has been uh, which is running and waiting for the resource or waiting for the time and if you refresh it you can open it also the instance to double check uh, where it is waiting it is waiting for one minute actually so after one minute it will call the child workflow and the child workflow will send an email to the respective address so let's wait for a minute so just refresh it now it is success so this parent workflow is succeeded and the child workflow is also succeeded right so we are expecting that uh, if you go to the bank account and the related activities you will find the email so this is the email that has been created dear owner please update the status of the transaction this is the url given for the record if you open this record it will open the record here and this is the data so the point here is uh, when the record is created the parent workflow called and child workflow called from the parent and the work is done right so this is how you can call one workflow from another workflow okay but remember for both the workflow the entity should be same otherwise you cannot call it in next example i will tell you 
how to use a recursive workflow how to use recursive workflow using child workflows calling the same workflow multiple times recursively using child workflow concept so thanks everyone watching this video see you next time bye